Hey guys, man of many things. And sorry about that other video, it's a little short. I know you guys noticed this. Check it for ticks. <laughs> well, what do you think of my meadow? There he is. You guys have seen last year. Now look at it this year. Looks good. I mean, this looks. This looks really good. Troy from Do Yourself World. Yeah. You did a lot of work here. Yeah. It, it, looks, it looks really nice. I like, uh, like the way everything is. Uh, Putting some long hours. Oh, show them the babies. <laughs> you got a lot going on this summer, man. You're, uh, you're doing well. The big birds are in the baby's cage, and the babies are in the big birds. <laughs> like I said before, I was uh, last week I was helping upstate upstate New York prepper. Now I'm here helping Troy. How many you have so far? I think 23. 23. Well, your roosters are really big. They are huge. They look like dinosaurs. Look at how they walk. <laughs> see my little puffer ball? <clears throat> the silky? Yeah, I see that one. It's going to look like a poodle. Where's your egg layer at? Um, she's probably inside. Oh, she's, oh there she is. She's there she there. is over there. Tiny little thing. Wow, look at these. They're pretty. So how many eggs have you gotten so far? Every day I get an egg. Really? Every day. That's good, that's good. It's breakfast, right? Yep. Do, do they attack you at all when you go get the, the eggs or anything? Or? No, no. They don't bother me at all. That's yeah, cool. They're pretty, pretty mellow birds. <clears throat> They're nice. You did good. You did good. Thanks. I mean, it looks, it looks really nice out here. A lot more work to do. Oh, check this out. 200, no, 135 <coughs> gallons of water in 24 hours. Watch the uh, wet spot here. That's a 275 gallon. Oh, wow, look at that. It's half full, man. 24 that is, hours. It's more than half full. That is nice. Yeah, you're right. Gallons, 175 gallons. Wow. Just off this. That is nice. Taped on do it yourself rain gutter for the RV. That's it. I mean, you're doing good. You have everything you've done so far, you did it yourself. I mean, you got water. My viewers hate my flammable sign. They think I'm going to get in trouble, but I think it's cool. No, nah, I think it's cool, too. <laughs> I'm keeping it. Yeah. I mean, you got your water. You got your chickens, your rooster. You got your garden. Yeah. I mean, you're doing good. Look here. I'm going to have grapes. I'm going to have to come over here and eat. <laughs> I'm going to have grapes. This is nice. This is all about. Yeah. Self-sufficiency. That's right. Off oh, grid. Here. Check this out. There you go. It's everywhere. There's food everywhere here. <clears throat> I love it. There. Strawberry leaves. Food. Clover. Food. There it is. All kinds of food here. All kinds of food. Oh, I mean, that here. trailer you have, that's a nice trailer. That big trailer? Yeah, that, that is a gorgeous trailer, man. It's heavy Great duty. Trailer. I can set the SJ on there with no problem. That thing is big. Yeah, oh, yeah, you could. That would be, uh, that'd be pretty cool. We should try driving it up there just for kicks and then photograph it for sale. <laughs> People can see the size of that trailer. Yeah, you guys can see how big it is, you know? I mean, I can put my Jeep on there and actually have room. Uh, you saw that tractor on there. Yeah. That tractor didn't take up a fraction of that trailer. This, this has served me well. Yeah, I, I like this. I got a lot of flack from people when I did this. But it, They said it's going to fail, you're going to burn yourself up, it's never going to work. It worked good. The passive solar porch, which by the way, the plastic you gave me last year. Yep. Is there the it is. That was some heavy duty plastic. Very good stuff. I wish I had more to give you, you know. Very good stuff. 
Very nice. That actually heats my RV in the mornings. Very good. Oh, look here. There's something I haven't shown my viewers. Don't touch it. Oh, yeah. See it? Look at get that. Up in there. I haven't shown my viewers. I keep forgetting. Yeah, get them out of there. No, they just built it there. They're going to live there. They're having babies. I mean, this is all right. So what's your next uh, what's your next plan? I know you're gonna do your little um, your tiny home. I'm gonna be here for that. Very urgently I need to chop this all down and put down some weed barrier right, right here along the fence line. And then I've got to put up electric fence. I um, I got some little things that I'm gonna use. I was using tractor supply this morning. Dollar ninety nine at Insulators, tube insulators for $1.99 at Tractor Supply. There you go. I'm going to cut these into quarters, right? And I'm going to use one zip tie, a piece that big, and zip tie it to a piece of um, sapling tree. All right. I'm going to drive uh, sapling stakes into the ground and use a piece of this, and then to run the wire crossed in through and out, zip tied onto a sapling so that the raccoons won't be able to get into my garden or to my chickens. So I'm going to have two, I'll have, here's the ground level. I'm going to have one about this high and another one about that high, you know, about you know, where my thumb is and where my finger is. There you go. Um, off the ground so that the coons can't get in there and kill my babies. Dollar ninety nine and a bunch of saplings and some zip ties is all it's going to take. Tractor Supply is a good store. It is. I mean, this place looks, wow, look at this. This is gorgeous. I like this. Oh, this beeping is in here. What is that? Your inverter? SJ. I gotta go check that out. Something's beeping. All right. <clears throat> there he is. Troy, do it yourself, world. Again, I'm here to help out a good friend, Troy. Got the SJ. Got the fridge. It's doing well. Well, forgive me, but I'm going to go use my legal toilet. There you go. Um, fully legal. There you oh, go. Yeah, get this on video. Hi, all my enemies and fools. I use it. <laughs> this is all right. I like it. I like it over here. He's a good friend. That's what it's all about. Now I gotta um, get the team together. It's bugging in. Upstate New York prepper. We got Troy, do it yourself world. And man of many things. All right. We just came back from track supply. We uh, <clears throat> had to buy some things for his trailer. And I helped him out around uh, his place a little bit. I want to just give you guys a little heads up what's going on. There he is. Superhero. Legal. <laughs> I keep looking at this. Honestly, people were, thought I was stupid wasting my time. But I enjoy just looking at it watching it grow. It gives me peace to have it. It's here. peaceful. I was just getting ready to say that. The rocks is a good, nice little touch to it. Yeah. I still got to clean up the extra rocks over here. And that, all those are extra. They were all on top of this. Every rock here, every single rock here was on top of that. And my guess is like 100 years ago or so, this was started because some of the rocks were um, six, eight inches deep underground right. from settling through the years. And then dirt had piled up on top of this as much as four inches deep on top of this rock. Right, right, right here. I didn't know there was a hole here because the dirt was this high. Right all the way across. You can see where the cleaner area is was under dirt. Right? That high. And I knew the rock came out here somewhere, but this was under dirt. So this had filled in, I think, at least a hundred years ago, that this has been uh, filling in. And all those rocks were put here way, way back sometime in the past. So I just took them all off and then I swept all the dirt and then I made my own mulch. And I've got myself a really pretty 
peaceful thing. When I get up in the morning, um, you know, I got a pretty view. Very nice. All right. Well, this is Man of Many Things, and you got from the do-it-yourself world, Troy himself. And we'll talk to you guys later. All right?